Elliot. Do you want to play football? Play football with you? Yeah. You must be joking. Why would I play football with you? Give me one reason. Tell me. Oh, you can't. That's sad, isn't it? I can. Just have a bit of fun. Yeah, 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 fun. Nothing's fun with you, James. <sighs> Fine. Besides, you're rubbish at football. I'm not rubbish at football. All I want is a nice family. A family who understands me. A family? A nice family who will sometimes go away. Hmm? Yeah. You. What? Come on, speak up. You got something to say. You can eat dinner in your room. Yep. And cool. be in bed at seven. Bye. I'm sorry about what happened earlier. Oh, it's fine. Come sit down. You sure? Yeah. I'm sorry too. I shouldn't have snapped like that. Yeah, I know. I do it as well. Sorry. And I know it can be hard being a twin, especially when it's James. He can be a little bit sensitive, you know? Mm. Just gotta be a little bit patient. I know you really try, Mum. I know you do too. I'll, I'll try my best, okay? Okay. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm just a bit tired. Oh, well, I'm also nervous the science test. You'll be fine. Like, obviously you won't get as good marks as me, but no, no one ever does. does. Yeah. Exactly. But you'll get good marks. You'll do better than Elliot anyway. But it's quite easy. <laughs> yeah. What was that you were saying there? Oh, God. Hmm? Girl, please friends. leave me alone. Oh, it's not, is it? You wouldn't get one. Well, am I going to leave you alone now? Do you know what he did last night? He came into him begging me to play football like a needy pet. Didn't you, James? Please leave me alone. Am I going to leave you alone now? That is that what you want me to do now? James, don't walk away from me and I'm talking to you. Come on, you got something to say? Tell me. What is it? Please leave me alone. Am I? Am I going to leave you alone? Let me go. <laughs> Why would you even do that? He's your two I don't care, Sylvie! Seems best. Yep, definitely angry. What are you like? Year six? Seven? Yeah, you should be in school.
Did you walk out or did he kick you? I walked out. It doesn't, why does it mean anything? That takes some guts. How many people do that? I don't care how many people How many people do in your it? class? Your year? I don't care about that. Why not? Because now we're going to go off and get good jobs and Good job, be successful. mindless, nine till five. Every single day, boring, useless, mindless. Do you, do you want that? For the rest of your life? No, but that's what, what I have to then? do. That's what everyone expects from me. Who expects it from you? Mum, Dad? Yeah. Ooh. So she puts a bit of pressure on you? Yeah, she does. Your brother? Yeah. Angelic child, goody two perfect. shoes, yeah. good grades, perfect everything? Yeah. Well, maybe just because you're not him doesn't mean that you're not the best sibling. Perhaps you're the special one. You're the gifted one. You're the one who's a bit different. Thanks, but I don't see it. I, th I do. I need people like you. If you need people like me, you're looking for the wrong people. I'll let you down. There's no risk to you, is it? This is the sort of thing that your brother probably couldn't do. Not your mum. Okay. Come here tomorrow at four. Okay? And there might be some, like, rewards along the way. I'll think about it. Hello? I got him. He's already under my thumb. Yep, he's mine. He's definitely mine. He'll be back. Got a new book. How have you been? Uh, it's just been a struggle with Elliot. Mm. I heard about what happened today with poor James. And my precious little daughter, Sylvie. I I'm really sorry. Uh, he isn't normally like this. And um, what are you doing to help? I'm going to talk to him. Talk? You're going to talk to him? Yeah. A boy his age won't listen to their mother. You need to give him a punishment. A firm hand. Are you sh sure? Yes. I'm sure. Did it work with Sylvie? Sylvie? Oh, I've never had a problem with her. She's a golden child. I'll try it. Mm -hmm. See Mom. Um, can I talk to you, please? No, Ellie, you cannot. You've... I always try to talk to you and you always... No, no, I just it doesn't work. Part of the no, you... You have been horrible lately. I have always tried to talk and hit. you keep on doing it. You keep on disappointing me and yourself. So I'm gonna reject you this time because I'm your mother and I get to see Please. whatever happens. I to just want to be part of the family. I just want to help you out. Don't help me out by hitting James and Sylvie. I know. I know what I did was bad, but I just need to talk to you. You don't need to talk, you need a firm hand. So, you, you can eat dinner in your room. Mum, please. You're no pudding and you can hand your phone over. Please just talk. Hand your phone over. Fine. Take it. I should go. No, no. You stay. You go to your room. Four o'clock. Four o'clock. 
four o'clock. I knew you'd be back. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. What's your name? Uh, Elliot. Elliot. Have you made your decision? Um. You ready to give it a shot? Um, okay. So, that business thing I was talking about, we deliver special packages to special people, Elliot. Secret packages, which they don't want people to know about. Okay? You think you can do that? Okay. Okay. So, for example, you'd take this package. That package. In your sock. Okay. In your sock. This. And you'll take it to that address. Okay. You go by any means possible. Train, bus, walk, I don't care if you swim. Okay? Okay. As long as that package gets there. Knock on the door and leave. Do you think you can do that? Okay. Okay. Do you like shoes, Elliot? Um Yeah. You look like a man of style. How about Nike Air Forces, Sunset Edition? They're so cool. I've wanted them for ages. How did you get them? This job pays well. You want to try them on? Really? Yeah. You're you're my partner. Okay. We're a team. I haven't done anything. We're partners. You need to know you can trust me. And I need to know I can trust you. This is awesome. I told you you had promise. I told you you were special. Okay. So, remember, that package to that address, any means, drop it off, knock and leave. Okay? Okay. So you can do that, yeah? Yeah. And not a word to mum. No. Not a word to anyone. Okay. And meet me here tomorrow, five-ish. I'll have another package for you, and maybe another reward. Okay? Okay. See you then. Bye. It's not... drugs, is it? Have you got an issue with that? If it were? N not really. Right. To come here. Ah, Elliot! I've heard lots about you. You're a top man right now, you know? I've heard lots of great compliments about you from George. I respect you for it. Please have a seat. Please make yourself at home, man. Alright. Make yourself comfortable, please. You're welcome here anytime. Did George give you the burner phone? Yeah. Right. That's really important, Elliot, because whenever it rings, you need to be there as quickly as possible, yeah? Time and place, you need to be there. Okay. We don't have to keep people waiting, do we? Yeah. Okay. And this, this is what they want. This is what we work for, all right? Now, I want you to hide this, Elliot. I want you to hide it from your mum, from your friends, from your closest people, right? This stays between me, you and George, nobody else. When you get home, I want you to hide it under your bed, in a sock, wherever you can, right? I've never showed anybody. Right. 
That's all for now, Elliot. Good luck. Keep up the great work. I see a bright future in you. Thank you. Elliot, does your mum have any cling film at home by any chance? Yeah. Please bring some. It really helps to keep the supply. Thank you. You can go now. Okay. Thank you. Wake up, you lazy scar! Ten minutes, I'll be there. I can be there in five if you want. Yeah, uh, which ones? Got it, perfect, I'll be there. Alright, no problem. Yeah, bye. Where are you going? It doesn't matter, James. What's that? Um, what? You got sweets again? Yeah. Don't eat too much of them. Spoil your dinner. I won't. So, how's Elliot? Honestly, um, I'm worried. What's happened? He's sneaking out at night, late. Wait, where's he been sneaking out to? I don't know, but, you know, at first I thought he was getting better, but now it's just getting suspicious. Well, you need to follow him. But he's, he says not to. I don't care if he says not to. You're his only brother, and do you really want him getting into loads of trouble over something that you could have stopped? Follow him. Okay, fine. Hey, I'm right here, don't worry. No, I promise you, I'm not moving, I wouldn't, okay? Alright, I'm right here. Bye. No! Where is it now? Hello, Elliot. Hi. You alright? Yeah, I'm fine. How did yesterday's package go? I mean, I thought it went okay. I don't... People are saying you lost it. I promise you I would never lose it. Elliot, did you lose it? I would Elliot, did you lose it? Elliot, did you lose it? Elliot, did you lose it? Got stolen. Stolen? Stolen? I'm sorry, it's my fault. Stupid, reckless. No. Ignorant. Was it my fault? Careless. There's nothing I could do. It's not my fault, George. It's pathetic. It's pathetic, Elliot. Look, I can go and get it. 
You are not getting anything. I can get it back. You are not crossing count two. Why not? I'm not going to watch you get gunned down, Elliot. It won't happen again. It better not. You won't have to worry. You're fine, okay? Please let me go. You won't stay with me on my stupid decisions anymore, okay? I'm begging you, please, George, let me go. No, no, no. What are you doing? You're mine. Please. You owe me. You're nothing but a bit. I know what I've done. You're mine. I can fix it. You owe me. You owe me big time. <laughs> okay, okay. Get up. No, I'm sorry, please. <laughs> Sit in the mud. Sit in the mud! Hey, Sit in the mud! Please, no, not the mud! Sit in the mud! <laughs> it's a pathetic sight! Look at you! No, You're nothing! Can... Nothing! You can't make it up to me! Just a pathetic little boy! With no one to turn to! Not your mum! Not your brother! I'm sorry. Now give me the shoes. Give me the shoes! Please, no, I like them. You're not worth them! And the jumper. And the glasses. I thought you were my friend. My friend? <laughs> my friend! <laughs> no one likes you. Pathetic. <sighs> Just a little scared boy with no one left to turn to. I know what I am, and I'm sorry, there's nothing I can do. No. The glasses. You don't need to see. You just need to listen. <laughs> and the jumper. In case I get cold. And the jumper. Want it taken? I might get a little bit cold. You know what? I might just, I don't know, film it. Yeah, that's it. In case you ever muck up again. Okay. I'm I sorry. ask you do. Right, right. I say you listen. Right. Good. Tell me you're a loser. I'm not. Tell me you're a loser. Tell me you're a loser. Tell me you're a loser. I'm not a loser. Shout it! Scream it! I'm a loser. What are you? I'm a loser. What are you? I'm a loser. What are you? I'm a loser. What are you, Elliot? I'm a loser! Okay? What more do you want from me? You're mine. I say you do. Here, tomorrow, at four. Sharpish! Elliot. Elliot. Who was that? A friend, okay? That wasn't a friend, Elliot. Listen, James, it doesn't matter what he was. Yes, it does, Elliot. Why should I tell you? Because you're in danger, Elliot. And he's a manager. What difference does it make? You're in danger, Elliot. Your safety is important, okay? I don't care, James. Well, I do. Why should you know? What have you ever done to deserve it? Tell me. Go on. I can't. I know our relationship isn't that great, and 
I'm not always the best brother. I care about you. So please, tell me who he was. Drugs. You hurt me. But I know it's bad. Yeah, very bad. <laughs> Sorry, I just... I needed something to try. You're taking drugs. No, no I'm not taking them, James. I'm just delivering them. Special deliveries. You wouldn't understand what it's like. I have to do these things sometimes. You're gonna tell mum, right? James, I can't tell mum. You don't understand what it means for, for mum to know. Really? She can't find out. I'll put her and you in danger. More than you ever know. You have to tell mum. I can't anything. tell mum. So much I danger. can't tell anyone. And I'm gonna tell I'm myself. Sorry. James, you're not gonna tell mum. Come here. What you ever do is sit there and make me second place! Sorry. Second best every single time! You've never in a hurt spell! To always be second to our mum's love! Sorry. Alright! We do all day still doing stupid homework assignments! All I want from you is a brother! But I never get it, do I? Sorry. I never get a minute! I'm just being happy with you! Sorry. It's like it's impossible! Now you saw what just happened to me there, didn't you? You saw? Yeah. If you tell mum that's your fate! Alright? Swear on your life! Swear on my life! You won't tell mum! Swear! I swear! Tell me again, you won't tell mum, will you? No, I won't. And if you do! You know what's coming. Right? Now get lost, James! Yeah, I'll be there. Five minutes? Okay. Bye. Look, Mum! Just go away, please! Just go away!
George. Yeah. The kid. What you do to him? I dealt with him. He, he's under my thumb. He's crippled. I mean, he, he's broken. Your thumb. Your thumb. He, he's a big. He's lost. Did you leave a mark? Bruises? Blood? He's mine. Not one lost. drop of blood. Not one bruise, nothing. He, he's lost. He's. You think you stay loyal to one small talk of yours? Time and time again and again, you keep proving the same point right. You're soft. You're a disappointment to me. I put all my trust in you. I trained you for months for you to not be able to deal with some middle schooler. Really? I think I need to teach him a proper lesson, like you should have done. And then, I'll deal with you later. Lost package. Really, Elliot? After everything that I did for you, <laughs> after all that I provided you with, really? You treat me like this? How dare you? And no scrap, no money in return. Lost package, I'm just like sorry. that. Oh. Please, I'm sorry. Elliot, you're our top man. I can't believe you run down like this. I think I need to teach you a lesson, Elliot. <laughs> I'm gonna teach you a proper lesson, like George should have done.
I'm not gonna tell anyone. I'm not gonna get anyone involved. Not the police. I'm not gonna get mum involved. This is this is beyond the joke. Okay. You're affecting me and mum. You're worrying mum half to death. And I'm I'm so worried, Elliot. I just want you to be safe. I need you to talk to me about this. I need to know that you're safe. Elliot. Elliot, can you hear me? Elliot, I know you're not asleep. I'm sorry how I acted this morning, it was just a little stress. And I know it's hard for you at your age. I know it was hard for me when I was that age. And just if you need anything, I'm here, you know. Um, well, I do have a sleepover tonight. Oh. Um, are you sure you're well enough? Yeah, I will be, I promise. I think it's tomorrow night as well. Um, are you sure you're going to be well enough? Yeah, I will be, I promise you. I'll be okay. But, like, a whole weekend sleepover? <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> it's, it's, it's okay. Um, who's sleepover is it? My friend, it's my friend. Is James no, know them? no, he doesn't know them, right? He, don't ask him. Okay, he doesn't know them. Ooh. If you, are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Right. Well, if you need anything, I can pack your bags and. No, no, don't, don't. Alright. Call me if there's anything you need, with, okay? Yeah. Come home if you don't feel yeah. well. Yeah. You're late. You said seven. Are you arguing? No, no. I don't even want to speak to you. Tell him what to do. Sit down. Don't you dare leave this room without my permission. Two spoons. No. Um, so, um, what school do you go to? No, I had a chat. Wait, why not? You're not here to chat. What are you doing?
So, where is Elliot? Oh, he's had a sleepover. A sleepover? After everything you went through? He's... I think he needs some time off to think, and I just thought it'd be nice for him to... Can't he do that in his own room? Well, I suppose so. Where was the fact about you were going to give him a punishment? A firm hand? I, I did, I... I... Did you really? I tried, uh, but he just, I thought maybe sleepover would do some good. This is just going to carry on for longer and longer. You shouldn't let him go out of this house without permission and supervision. I understand. Tea? Mm, yes, please. Two sugars, right? No, no sugar. I'm on a diet. <sighs> need to sleep. You have one hour. Where? Corner. Science tests later? Yeah, I do. Don't worry, I can revise it. I know. One second. Hello, Susan? I'm sorry? Elliot didn't come home from a sleepover last night. How am I being unsupportive? I'm just telling you the truth, Susan. You know what? I've stuck with you through all your silly family drama, yet this is the way you repay me. You know what? I don't want to talk to you right now. Goodbye, Susan. Mum. Is everything, is everything okay? For us. Elliot didn't come home from his sleepover. Yeah. Is he okay? Like, what happened to him? What does it matter if he's okay? You're not friends with him. Yeah, but like, is he okay? Like, do we know what happened? Like, where he is? Is he safe? It's not our business. Children don't make their own decisions. They're always made for them. And how would that be? Take you and me, for example. When did I ever say that I wanted to be a prefect? Yes, yes you did. No, I didn't. I never said that. When did I ever say that I want to be the top of my class? When did I ever say I want to go to all these meetings? I didn't. You made that choice for me. No, I didn't. So this is what it's doing to you. What's that? You know exactly what I'm talking about. No, I don't. The thing in your handbag. There's nothing in my handbag. Cocaine? 
We've been learning about it in science. What? C c c me, me? What? You can't tell anyone! You can't tell your father! Try me. I've got to go.
Elliot, Elliot, wake get up. Get off me. Oh my god, you're so obsessed, it's ridiculous. The police are downstairs. James, I swear to God. If you're lying to me, I'll kill you. I'm not, I'm not. I swear they're downstairs. I say they've got You've them. told them, haven't you? I didn't tell anyone. No, you would. You've told them. I swear. I say they've got a warrant for your arrest. Well, can you please get rid of them? No, they're not going to listen to me. I'm 12, Elliot. Just please give it a go. You don't understand. Elliot, Elliot, listen. They're the police, okay? They don't care what I have to say. Please, just... just I thought you were meant to be the smart one. The one who found something. Just come downstairs and turn yourself in. You know what, fine, I'll go out the window. You have to come with me, James, please. Are you out of your mind? James, come with me. Elliot. You don't understand what this means. You have to. Elliot. Elliot. They what now? They... James, please come with me. You can't go out the window. Yes, Elliot. I can. You can come with me. We can start a new life. We can get away from you, James. Elliot. Just look out the window. What do I do? Just come downstairs and turn yourself in. Just turn yourself in. James, you don't understand what that means. You really don't. Elliot, Elliot, do you mind explaining to me? When the police are my house, it's horrible to come in there with a warrant for your arrest. Have you heard someone, Elliot? Listen. Elliot, have you heard someone? It's not hurt anyone. What did you say? hurt anyone. You knew and you didn't think to tell me. I was going to tell you, Mum. I was going to tell you yesterday when you were on the phone. Elliot told me not to tell anyone. Get out. <laughs> Sorry. Get out. No, Mum. Get out. No, no, James, no, don't go. James, my... get out. It's not don't go. It's my fault. You're gonna be fine. You're, they're gonna it's hurt not, you, and it's not, you're right. That's who you won't actually be going to prison, not, and it's, it's, it's gonna be not, fine. Please, and we won't even not, have to please, visit you because you'll be out by not, then, and we'll not, kill, and you, you'll be out. And Mom, it's not the police, okay? It's not the police that I'm worried about. What it's do you mean? It's the police that I care about. But it's something else. It's the police that I don't. Mom, I can't tell you. If I tell you, I'll put you in danger. i put you and James in danger. Please. There's some things you really can't know, and this is one of them. Please, Mum. I could be just... Ah! Just get lost! Bruce. The bruise doesn't matter. Look, I just Mum, the bruise. I just want to see. It doesn't matter. Just let Mom, me get off me, Mum. Just let me see. <laughs> <laughs>
हीटर होना चाहिए I'm sorry that I kicked you. I'm really sorry that I shouted at you. I'm sorry that I've been a brat. But I need you to help me right now, okay? I accept that the police were after what I accept the consequences. But I really just need your help. Right? All I want from you and James is help. But please, I'm begging you from the bottom of my heart. No more questions, okay? Please, Mum. No more questions. I just need some help. Sneak downstairs now. Okay, I'm coming. Get the shower. 